you only get two days off of work a week. And one of those days you gotta clean your room, call your mom, wash your car. We're both headed on a train straight towards death. How are we supposed to make a good life with only one day a week? Well, I'm gonna try. On my one day off a week of work, I'm gonna spend less than $50 going on an adventure. Not in Bali, hanging out of a helicopter, but in my own backyard or somewhere close to it. And you're gonna join me on this video, or in a car, or if you have a bicycle, bike it, or feet, walk it, or a wheelchair, maybe get a friend to take you on an adventure. We're not gonna give up our homes and Jack Kerouac it like I have done before. So let's go see what we stumble upon and uh, without having to sacrifice our whole lives for the adventure. Let's see what we find. This baby she only holds a gallon. Oh my god. Full to the brim. Ah, oh, I spilt it. Uh, I was on the 41 before it turned into the 441. I saw a factory. I was wondering if I could find it, maybe see if it was abandoned. Turns out it's not. Ah, I see a truck coming towards me now. Yeah, so I'm gonna head back to the main road. I just went under this really cool bridge right here, but uh, there was gravel underneath it. Oh man, that guy is country. <laughs> I love it. So I'm riding and I see a sign for the Telus Museum. Cool, here I am. Station, so man it's freaking gorgeous here dude look at this place the trees off you could only smell it the trees are changing in Georgia man I gotta get more days off a week from work but hey I have a job and that's why I get to go to a museum that I just see on the side of the road right so I said if it was under 20 I'd do it here I am <laughs> that is so cool it's a freaking dinosaur Dude, this place is so cool. <laughs> oh my god. I've never seen such a thing. <laughs> that is absurd. Welcome to the world of Florence now. With a white light illuminating these minerals in the ultraviolet lights will come on. The minerals are illuminated by long wave ultraviolet light, also called black light. Notice how minerals that look round and white. My mind's blown. Sat in a planetarium for the last like half hour. Holy hell. That was absurd. I don't know what time it is, but it's getting late, man. I, can't, I don't know how many more stops I can make if I'm gonna get these apples and get home before dark. Back, I passed this amazing looking gravel road with like a gate that was just barely open. I don't know what it is, it doesn't have private property signs, and it's eating me alive, man. I've been driving down the road past that, like, ah, uh, should I go, should I go? No, I gotta go get apples for this damn cider. I'm turning around, I don't care, man. I'll, I'm checking it out. If it means I don't make it, I don't make it. I gotta check out this gravel road, it's eating me alive. Do you see what I'm saying? How can you pass this up? Look at this. This literally... It's 
like the background of a of an adventure. A gate open, no signs. Gravel road heading into the forest. Off of a country road. I mean, what kind of adventure would this be if I just passed it up to get some damn apples? You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, let's do it. Well, unfortunately it ends here. Not a very long road, so I guess I might still be able to get them apples. Just past five abandoned houses, and then this house, which has fresh produce, is a little welcome sign. Hey, buddy. Hey, dude. How's it going? Hey. Oh, you're so cute. Hello. I'm kind of in somebody's backyard right now. All right. Oh, there's another dog and two dogs up front. Hmm. Okay. Not exactly sure. I guess they're not selling produce today. Which one do I go to? Panorama Orchards or Penland's Apple House? I've passed this place for so many years on my adventures up to the Smoky. apple cider, bag of apples to make my own cider. I'm sitting here looking out over a farm in Georgia and the woman Sheila who checked me out was so sweet. She said that'll be $935. I said, well my God, this is some expensive apples. So she was laughing. She said, well now you have a blessed ride home. I said, you're so happy. She said, every day is a good day. God blesses us and we need to give thanks. So, Thank you, Sheila. What a wonderful day. Just one day off. Oh, how much could happen in a day, huh? As I sit here in this beautiful place drinking this amazing hot cider, my camera is dying. It's about 5%. I just realized I forgot the other battery at home. So, you're not gonna get to see the journey home, but it'll probably be pretty boring. It's just a drive, right? Thanks for watching. Maybe this changed your perspective on Georgia or adventure or what's capable in your one day off of work every week. Hail Breezy, I'll catch you next time.